Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about partial products algorithms. And we're going to focus on multiplying multi-digit numbers by other multi-digit numbers. Our essential question is, how do I multiply a multi-digit number by another multi-digit number using the partial products algorithm? Let's get started. When we are looking at multiplying two different numbers together, we want to first start thinking about the expanded notation of each number so we can really understand what we are multiplying together. So let's look at our 34. In our 34, I see that we have three tens and four ones. So if I were to write my expanded notation, I would say 30 plus 4. Three tens plus four ones. And that equals my 34. For my 17, I say I have one ten and seven ones. So I'm going to write my one ten and seven ones to make my 17. When we are multiplying using the partial products algorithm, we are actually breaking apart each of these numbers and multiplying each of the digits by the number above it. For example, on this problem here, I would have my tens multiplied by the thirties here, and my tens multiplied by the fours here. I would then look at my seven ones and multiply it by the thirty, and my seven ones multiplied by the four ones. Sometimes my brain gets a little confused as to where I'm at in that process, so using the expanded notation can help us make that a little simpler. When I'm doing this, I'm going to start by with my 10, and I'm going to multiply it by the 30. So I'm going to have 10 30s. Then I'm going to take my 10, and I'm going to multiply it by the four ones. So I have 10 fours. Next, I'm going to look at my seven ones. I'm going to multiply my seven ones by the 30. So I have seven 30s. And then I'm going to take my seven and multiply it by the four. So I have seven fours. By using the expanded notation, I can now see that I've multiplied all of my numbers by each other. Now I'm ready to do the actual multiplication. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go 10 times 30. So 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 more zeros. And that gives me 300. Then I have 10 fours. If you're stuck on the math, find the little problem first and then add in your zeros. So 1 times 4 is 4, with 1 zero makes 40. Notice I am lining up my 1's and my 10's column. This is going to be extremely important when you add at the end of this part. 730s, I have 7 times 3 is 21, plus a 0. So I'm going to start with my 0, and then write my 21 in front of it, so I can make sure I'm lining up. Then I have 7 4s. 7 4s is 7 times 4, that is 28. I now need to add up all of these digits. I have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8. 0 plus 4 is 4 plus one more is five, plus two more is seven, and then three plus two is five. So my final answer is 578. But what happens if we have a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number? We're going to do the same process we did for the two-digit by the two-digit, only this time we have a third digit to look at. So I'm going to start by looking at the expanded notation. So once again, I can keep my brain understanding what I'm actually trying to multiply together. So 265, I have 200 plus 60 plus 5. With 43, I have 40 and 3. Now I'm ready to multiply. I'm going to take 40 two hundreds. So I have to multiply those together. So forty two hundreds. Then I need forty sixties. Forty sixties. Then forty fives. Forty fives. 
So my 40 I've now multiplied by each of these three digits. Now I need to do my three. Three two hundreds. Three sixties. And finally, three fives. Now that I've made sure that I've multiplied all of my digits by each other, I'm going to go ahead and do the multiplication over here. So I have 4 times 2 is 8, and I have 3 zeros this time. So 1, 2, 3, and my 8 for 8,000. 40, 60, so 4 times 6 is 24 with two zeros. So one, two, and then write my 24. Notice I'm still lining all of my columns up so that I can add correctly in a minute. 45, so four times five is 20 plus one zero. So there's my zero and my 20. Three two hundreds. So three times two is six plus my two zeros. Zero, zero, and six, so that's six hundred. Three sixties, three times six is eighteen plus a zero. So zero, eight, one, there's my eighteen plus my zero, one hundred eighty. And then three times five is fifteen. Lining these all up. I'm going to add all of these up together now. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus five is five. Zero, 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 eight plus one is nine. Zero plus four is four, plus two more is six, plus six is twelve, plus one is thirteen. I'm going to carry that one up to the top there. I see that my eight and my two makes a ten, plus one more is eleven. Then I need to go through and put my comma in. So I go one, two, three, and my comma goes right there. So as you can see, multiplying by a three-digit number is the same process as multiplying by a two-digit number, only you have one more number to multiply by. Let's give this one a try. 56 times 32. Go ahead and pause the video, work through your expanded notation and all of the multiplication to figure out what the answer to this problem is, and then restart the video and check your work. Okay, let's look at this one and see how you did. So with 56, I have 50 and 6 is my expanded notation. 32, I have 30 plus 2. Then I need to do my multiplying. So I'm going to have 30 fifties. And 30 sixes. Then I have two fifties and two sixes. Then I need to do my multiplication. So three times five is fifteen plus two zeros. Zero, zero, fifteen. Three times six is eighteen plus one zero. So zero, eight, one. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1, 0, so 0, 0, 1, and then 2 times 6 is 12. Make sure they're all lined up. Let's do our adding now. 0, 0, 0, 2 is 2. 0 plus 8 is 8, plus 1 more is 9. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, and then I bring my 1 down. 1, 2, 3. And you should have gotten 1,792. How'd you do? Go ahead and fix anything that you need to fix. On the back of this page, you will find a spot for two practice problems. Be sure to use the partial products method while you are working on these problems. Your first problem is 28 times 22. And down below the line, your next problem is 13 times 46. 
be sure to show your expanded notation and all of your work underneath each of the problems while you're doing your practice problems tonight. Also, don't forget to complete your summary and two questions on the other side of this page. Have a good night.